uh, uh, why, why don't we bring up my, uh, my, my honeymooned wife, Erin uh, McGathy. Did you guys do it French style? You, you kissed both cheeks? <laughs> uh, we, we didn't. <laughs> Are you all better now? You, you healthy again? I am. Uh, just recently, though. I still have a little thing in my throat. And today I, I, I did a, like a Channel 101 pilot, and there was an older woman there, uh, this actress who was brought in who I don't think knew anybody. And I, and I coughed. and like She had done some... The very nice woman, but she had done some like very like six seeming things earlier that made me kind of worried about her health. Like there was a fog machine, and uh, she said, "Oh, is something on fire?" <laughs> and, and I said, "Oh no, that's a uh, that's a uh, that's a fog machine, and it's just it's just vapor." And she was like, oh, "Okay, okay, don't want anything to be on fire." And I was like, "Yeah, no one does." <laughs> um, but then ten minutes later. She she looked at me like she was looking through the pizza. Also, she was like examining the pizza, which is strange. But she had eaten pizza and was just looking, seeing all the pizza. And then she looked at me and she said, is something on fire? And I was like, ha, 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 ha. And she was like, is something on fire? Uh, no, it's a fog machine. It's vapor. And she's like, oh, okay. Um, but then five minutes later, I coughed. And she said, you need to get some help. So... I guess I'm still a little sick. <laughs> yeah, right, you, everybody. You don't, you don't sound that good, like, in bed at night. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh. oh, no, we, we, we sleep together. Ooh. <laughs> but we're not always sleeping. Ooh. Right, because she keeps coughing. <laughs> You start living. Ah. Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I got, I was very, very sick, and I was very proud of myself for calling the French doctor. And the French doctor came and uh, gave me, prescribed me some antibiotics, and they made me violently ill. And I threw up in Versailles after doing a ton of research and trying to convince Dan to go. And I was very self-righteous about how great I am about enjoying historical things. And I, I threw up right on history and was ushered out, <laughs> escorted out um, while the tour continued. And I just slept. I, oh, I didn't tell you this because I was very ashamed and I thought you'd be embarrassed. <laughs> but when I was escorted out, I was so sick. And you know when you're sick, you want to put your face up against something cold. <laughs> and so I was, <laughs> I was lying in the courtyard of Versailles with my face just on the stone. <laughs> Literally like behind the golden gates where, <laughs> where, where Louis the 16th first saw Marie Antoinette and, uh, and, and the, 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 the people of France uh, look, looked in wanting to be there because that's what the French Revolution is, right? That they, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, I was lying lying on the ground at Versailles, but put my very fancy coat over me so people didn't think I was homeless, and it worked out. So they, 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 homeless people hate insulation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just like, well, I, I mean, because I definitely looked like there was something wrong, but I was on the inside of the gate, so I clearly bought a ticket. But people don't usually lie on the ground with their face on the stone at Versailles. So you put your coat over yourself so that people just thought you were a corpse. Like a <laughs> <laughs> well, I put it, I put it like over my shoulder, and then I had like out like a like my little guidebook, so it looked like I was kind of doing something. <laughs> I was very sick. You know when you position yourself in a sleeping position uh, when you have to sleep, and you want people to think that you're doing it on purpose. It was that kind of thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> well, have you ever tried to uh, fake sleeping in in a in a uh, educational situation? Like, yeah. like you mean like putting your putting this your head knows. down like like yeah yeah like 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 in school you're sleeping you have your hand on your on your face and just your head down and then a book and a you learn how to hold a pen while you're sleeping right. so it looks like you're doing something yeah. yeah I'm just glad you didn't you didn't make me go I mean I I I, I you didn't go. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. But you said you don't. You're like, why would I want to go to some guy's house? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
And the, and, the, and the only answer is, ooh, this guy was really rich. No! <laughs> All right. I'm not going to have this he argument. He told again. everybody what gonna... to do. Yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> so, 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 so you, you, you didn't go? No, I'm what, not going to go to Versailles. What did you... <laughs> Also hates Paris. I, I mean, that's just, it's, 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 why is it so absurd? Because it's like we cut their heads off. Like we hated them. We didn't do that. We being modern people, we turned our back on the idea of all that shitty fucking. Yeah. Well, I wasn't going because I was like, ugh, the way they did their wallpaper. Is <laughs> yes, you. Yes, that's no, exactly I wasn't. That's, what no, that's, that's exactly not... why people go. No, that's no, what, that's, that's not that why people is. go. No, what that's not why people go. I'm walking through. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is where, this is where the royal court uh, met for the last time when they when they said, you know, uh, Louis the Fourteenth and Marie Antoinette, you have to you you have to stay here, you have to stay hostage because we have this big list of people who are going to be beheaded, and there, you know, these mo- so many moments, and uh, you know, Mar- Marie Antoinette uh, is is Austrian, and she's 14 years old, and she's married right away, and she goes into her, to her room, and she she's like, ah, this is this is my life and my life is perfect and my life is or my life is my life is terrible oh so many dresses and she has no idea what's going on and you get to be in these halls where people have been <laughs> I mean but I, I, I care more about that that stuff obviously do you think Peter Weller would have enjoyed that well of course yeah yeah that's what I mean that's the amazing thing about Peter Weller is he's he's Part Dan, part Aaron, all <laughs> uh, all purple scarf. He cares about architecture. He was RoboCop. Yeah, I mean it's also what it's also you, magnificent.